Hello everyone, lead code a day. Today our problem is lead code 88, merge sorted array. Merge sorted array is a very important algorithm. It can be used in merge sort and finding the medium of two sorted arrays. So let's get started. Uh, the problem is given two sorted arrays, nums1 and nums2, and merge them into nums1 as one sorted array. So basically, the input of our function is nums1 and the length of nums1, nums2 and the length of nums2. Uh, and the tricky part here is we don't need to return anything, but modify nums1 in place instead, which means we just put all the elements into nums1. Let's look at this example. So nums1 equals 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0. And nums2 is 2, 5, 6. As we can see, we already got places for nums2 in nums1 actually. So basically we just need to put all the elements in place in nums1. Okay. Uh, so one solution we can think of is just to add those two lists in Python and then, mer and then sort them. Right, that's a very simple intuition. And let's look at the code. So basically, if n is 0, which means nums2 is empty, we don't need to do anything because nums1 is already the result. Then we just return. Otherwise, we will put the last n elements in nums1 as, in, uh, as nums2 and then sort them. So this is very simple, but the time complexity for this solution is m plus n log m plus n because we, we use a sort here. So can we do better? The answer is of course yes. So let's think, try to think about a big O m plus n time, which is a linear time complexity algorithm. <coughs> Uh, like like we talked about, the tricky part is still to modify nums1 in place. So how do we do that? Because let's talk about let's think about this example. When we somehow change nums1 by the number from nums2, we don't want to want our nums1 to disappear. You know. So that's why for this algorithm, we need to first save nums1. We don't want to our nums1 element to disappear. And also, let's think about the algorithm, how to, how to merge the two sorted array. Actually, it's quite simple, right? The, mer the sorted means from small to large. So since nums1 and nums2 are already sorted, which we didn't use, in, use this information in our previous solution, we can think about every time we need to compare the current element from nums1 and nums2. If the current, and we put the smaller element into the current situation, right? So, the idea is to use two index, index 1 and index 2, to record the current position or index from the two arrays. Like I said, if one of the array, if nums1 is smaller than nums2, then we put nums1 into the final result. And we move index 1 in nums1 to write. Otherwise, nums2 index 2 is larger than num1 index 1. Then we put the nums2 to be the current smaller element and we move the index 2. This is the main part for this algorithm, but we still need to think about some edge cases. Let's say what if what if 
uh, after this while loop, there are still remainings. There are still some remaining elements from nums one same or nums two. So here we talk about if index one is already m, which means we have used up all the elements from nums one, but there might be still some elements from nums two, right? So we directly add those nums two remaining parts into nums one. It's the same case for it's the same for when index two is n, which means we used up all the elements from nums two. Then we just append all the other all the remaining elements from nums one behind. That's it for this algorithm. If you think this video helps, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.